Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today we are doing a foundation review and wear test on a foundation that I have had so many requests over the last couple of weeks to test and try. We are talking about the new foundation from Lancome. This is the Tint Edol Ultra Wear Care and Glow Foundation. This foundation promises a natural finish with medium coverage. It has an SPF of 27. It offers up to 24 hour transfer resistant wear. They say it's great for oily, combo, or normal skin. It's very hydrating, so I was a little surprised that dry skin wasn't mentioned on the website. I don't know why it wouldn't be good for dry skin, but we will test it out and give you guys my thoughts. It also has hyaluronic acid in it, which we all know is an ingredient to help attract hydration and moisture to the skin. It comes in 30 shades and it retails for $47. Now the shade that I grabbed from Sephora was 330N. I should say that when I went to Sephora, they were kind of limited on what shades they had. So I grabbed the shade that I thought was best that was available. Let's give this a try. It's also described as a glow serum foundation. So serum foundation, glowy, hydrating, medium coverage, long wearing, transfer resistant. I could get on board with all of these things. On my skin right now, what do I have? I don't even have my tinted SPF on today. So typically I always put my Elastin SPF on. I skipped it today, not for any particular reason. I just realized I forgot to. So we're gonna use this. I'm gonna be inside most of the day today, so I'm not too concerned with not having an SPF underneath this, but typically I would always wear that. And that one is like my go-to because it works well under all foundations. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's a really beautiful, sleek glass Lancome bottle. The shade looks like it's going to be a pretty good match for me. I'm going to do one full pump here. Let's see the consistency of this. Okay, so a nice, pretty solid consistency. It's not really migrating or traveling down my hand, so it's not really watery or thin. It looks to be a bit thick in consistency. Let's touch it and see. Oh yeah, it is nice and thick. It feels a little thicker than I would expect from a serum foundation. But let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm going to use my BK Beauty 106 foundation brush to blend this in. And I'm just going to go directly from my hand onto the brush and we're going to press into the center of the face. Very, very strong scent. That does not bother me. I don't really have issue with foundation or most products that have a scent don't really bother me, but I know some people are more sensitive to fragrance in their cosmetics or skincare products. And I definitely smell something pretty strong when I go to apply it, like more so than any other foundation that I use. But again, that does not bother me. Okay, that is so pretty. Very pretty, great coverage. This color is perfect for me, perfect, perfect. But I'm just bouncing, I haven't even started blending it in and I don't even really feel the need to. Mm, that's nice, okay, let's go into the other side. Okay, that is really pretty. I actually used all of that on my hand, I need more. So I'm gonna go in and grab another pump. That could just be that you need more of this foundation. It could also be the application method I, that I used when I went from the brush here. I could have picked up more than I needed. You probably find that this product will go further if you actually dot it on your skin versus the technique that I did. Because usually I don't need like two pumps of a foundation. Usually a pump is enough. This is really nice, you guys. Very pretty. So what I'm seeing, I'm seeing pretty good coverage. I'm seeing about as much coverage as I would ever need from a foundation, which is pretty solid medium. The finish, it seems to be like drying down and setting quickly, but I still have this soft glow. I have said this, you know, a lot lately, so apologies if you're hearing this for like the hundredth time, but my skin has been really dry lately, you guys. Very, very dry. Products sit and wear differently on me than they did six months, a year ago. My skin just seems to absorb and like soak up anything I put. Ooh, okay, that's really nice. Now, I didn't use most of that second pump that I used. I have quite a bit left, and I'm not gonna go and pack it on just because I have it. I don't need it. I think next time I'll be a little more strategic with that first pump, because I think I could have made that work. Really loving the finish of it. I definitely have a glow, but it is very controlled. It looks pretty, very pretty. When I shift and the light hits my face, you can see that extra glow and highlight. Very nice, okay. Let me go in and wipe off the excess product. Okay, so for concealer, I'm gonna go in with a concealer that I've just been loving lately. I thought about using the Lancome concealer, but I'm gonna go in with this Bobbi Brown. I really love this guy. This is the shade beige, and it's the Skin Full Cover Concealer. And I'm going to apply this in the inner corner, and then I'm gonna pull a little bit up here. This concealer is great coverage, full coverage, very creamy, hydrating, blends out really easily, stays in place. Great for drier under eye skin. I mean, look how fast that blends out, so fast. All right, so concealer's on, foundation's on. We haven't done anything else. I haven't set with powder yet. 
and I'm really loving the way my skin looks. Really, really loving this. I am going to set with the powder because I tip, you know, I always do. I'm going to go in with the Westman Atelier Vital Skin Pressed Powder. This is a very light, translucent, very sheer product. So it doesn't really change, alter, or manipulate the foundation. And I'm going to use a big fluffy brush. I'm using the BK Beauty 104 and I'm just softly powdering in the areas that I know I always need, which is right under the eyes to set concealer, center of face, and the chin. All right, so let me talk about what I am seeing here, then I'm gonna go off camera, do the rest of my makeup, and then we'll come back, summarize, and then we'll go into our check-ins throughout the day. So right now, the skin looks flawless great coverage, very natural finish. I think for someone that isn't as dry as my skin is right now, you'd have a bit more of a glow is my my assumption. I am seeing a little bit of a glow, but it's a very controlled glow. It's not like it doesn't look wet to the touch or sticky to the touch. It's set, but you have that glow and that shine when you turn your face and the light hits it. I don't think I read anything about it being blur, like a blur or skin smoothing foundation. I could have missed that, but I do feel like my skin looks smooth. I feel like my pores are are less noticeable in this area. I have been using a product from Stridevectin that has helped with my pores, so that could also be it. But yeah, I love the way this looks. As 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 of we are right now, I'm gonna give this foundation a good solid 9.5, 9.9. 9. <laughs> I'd give it a 10, but I just always feel like there's maybe always a little room for improvement, anything, I don't know. Okay, let me go do my makeup off camera and I'll be right back. So we are back. I just did a really quick, simple look today. I actually want to share what is on my eyes because I love it. It's a one eyeshadow look. That would actually make a really great video. Like my favorite kind of one eyeshadow looks. I picked up this little mini palette from Natasha Denona. This is the mini Biba palette. And this is this shade right here. I just have this shade right here kind of packed onto my lid and then sweeped into my crease to kind of diffuse it a bit. My liner is the shade Bourbon from Urban Decay. It's like a bronze kind of golden eye cold pencil and mascara, super simple. Okay, so the foundation pretty much looks just like it did before I left you guys about 20 minutes ago. There's a little slight more radiance I feel like, but that could also be more so from the cream bronzer and the cream blush that I applied. In fact, that is because I'm seeing that radiance really in those products that I applied. I applied the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer and then I applied a new blush that I'm really loving. It's by Say Beauty and I'm looking around for it right here. It's this little liquid blush in the shade Rosy. So pretty, highly pigmented. I just applied a little on my hand, grabbed a brush and then blended it into the skin. So that's what's giving me that extra glow. So it is 11, 14 a.m. I'm gonna be doing a lot of work from home today. I'm gonna be at the house. I do have to run out this afternoon pick up the kids, run a couple of quick errands. So I'll do a check-in later today and we're gonna see how this foundation wears throughout the day. Hey everyone, so it is just about 2.45 p.m. I am sitting in carpool pickup line waiting to pick up the kids. And I thought I would do a check in here because I am sitting in my car with natural light and this is a pretty good representation of how my skin looks. So I haven't touched up at all yet. I haven't powdered or anything since I applied my makeup earlier this morning. You can definitely see a lot of glow happening. I definitely feel the need to touch up. The makeup is still in place. Nothing's moving or transferring. It's still in place, but it definitely, in my opinion, needs to be mattified. So when I get home in about 10 minutes I'm gonna lightly powder and then I'll check in with you guys in a few more hours and we'll see how it wears so my thought right now is it looks good but it definitely needs some maintenance I have been inside all day I haven't really left the house yet so it's not like I've been moving and grooving in you know humidity or heat I've been inside in the AC so that'll give you some idea of how it's wearing it looks really pretty I don't think it looks bad it just looks a little more glowy than my liking so all right well I'm gonna sign off so I can go pick up the kids. Okay, so it's 7.30 p.m. I just finished cooking dinner. I'm getting ready to unwind for the night and I'm gonna do my final check-in before we wash this makeup off. When I got home from picking up the kids, I touched up with a light pressed powder. I used the Physicians Formula Butter Powder, which is a really nice, soft, focused kind of setting powder. It immediately refreshed the makeup. It looked really good. That was around 3.30 p.m. I haven't touched up since, so it's been four hours. I did walk Brooklyn down the street to meet with her tutor and it's, you know, <laughs> August in Texas, so it was hot. I wanna take a peek in the mirror so I can give you guys my final thoughts. When I'm looking in my camera or my phone here, it looks really great. When I look into a mirror, there are areas that you can tell the makeup is kind of settled into texture, specifically like right here. It's nothing bad. It's, it's very subtle, but it is something to take note of. Settled right around here. I have a little bit of texture between my brows and I noticed it there right around the kind of little crevice here of my nose. I notice it's slightly settling in. You can see a little bit of it settling right around there, which is pretty typical with foundations, especially glowy foundations. Overall, I would give this foundation a solid like 
8 or an 8.5. I think it's a great foundation, especially for a glowy finish. I think given the conditions that I live in and my skin type, it's lasted really well. It looks really good. I don't think that this looks bad at all. I don't, I'm not disappointed in this. It does have a little bit more shine than I typically like, um, but again, that's a personal preference type of thing. So overall, I think this foundation is really beautiful and I would definitely keep this and use this in my rotation specifically, probably when we get into the colder, drier months and I want more of a glow. I definitely see myself using this foundation. So I really liked this foundation. It didn't knock my socks off like the Hourglass Ambient Glow Foundation, but it's right there. It's right there. When I first put it on, it was stunning and beautiful. And I could definitely see this being a foundation that I continue to wear like for an evening event, maybe not my daytime foundation, but maybe for like an evening event. Beautiful, really beautiful, solid, but that's kind of where I sit with it. Have you tried this foundation? What are your thoughts? Let us know, share down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in my next one. Have a good one. Bye guys. Bye.